Hey guys, it's Rottweiler back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the number one problem that new players have when getting into Rivals of Ether. And no, it's not recovering, it's not movement, it's literally getting comboed to death. Here we go, got my position, let's hit the road. Looking back, I know they probably doubt me, not a city on my back, I wear proudly. I'm a hero in the making. <laughs> if I'm dreaming, you can't wait my time. I'm seizing the moment, cause I gotta go for the time. Now, why are new players being comboed to death? It's all due to mainly one thing, and that is the lack of DI. And I don't blame them. The Rivals DI system is much different than Smash in general, uh, and more powerful than anything in uh, Smash 4 Ultimate. The main defense in Rivals is your movement, for one, and your DI, which is way more important than even your movement. Movement in the, in the fact that uh, you can avoid a lot of attacks because you're moving around in a place that's hard to hit, right? And it's so fluid and crispy that it just allows a lot of evasion. That is one way to be defensive in Rivals. And the second way is, well, getting hit. When you get hit, uh, you're still in a lot of control of where, where you go, right? In Smash 4 Ultimate, you get hit and you literally have like two DIs and that's DI in to barely live the hit that you know that would have killed you right or there's di out if you've been up thrown by bowser in smash 4 you will understand understand sorry that your di is literally irrelevant same with donkey kong right doesn't matter how you hold your stick rivals is completely different than that now for example forest burns f smash is going to kill zeta burn here easily at 134 with no di or di out as you can see right but on di up and in something that doesn't really exist in like ultimate or smash 4 right like right here if i hold up and in this will not kill me see i live for free and that really just goes to show just how powerful a di is in rivals of ether to the point where you can go horizontally straight to like a, an f smash or go at an upward angle that's like super in your favor if you're the opponent getting launched and again newer players don't really know how to use this what i just did was survival di and there's a flip side to that called combo di what is combo di you may ask simply holding down and away from your opponent not just away like i've seen so many new players do down and away why down and away because this lets you get to the ground faster because the down is sending you more down so you can take and get away from the combo or go off stage because you're going at a more horizontal angle that is combo di that is the di you hold to escape combos now one of the most notorious combos in this game is abscess fair chain right where she just hits you with forward air and it leads to like three other four airs that follow or a down air eventually or an up air that will kill you kill you off the top um this is very notorious but the problem with it is that it doesn't work on combo di which is di down and away right and for example this is what it looks like when it lands right that's the notorious abs of fair chain now the problem newer players have with getting out of things like Abso Fair Chain and just combos in general like that, right? Is that you guys have two modes, or new players have two modes, and that is hold hard in or hold hard out. As you just saw, holding hard in results in a combo like that, and holding out even at 40% can be your stock. Now wait, 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 I know what some of you are thinking, you just told me to hold down and away and you got me out here dying to abso forward air at 40 on di out right and that is because abso's forward air and crack fair and a few other moves that are just strong are not moves you should use di down and away against these are moves that require drift di which i will get into but you di down and away from moves that are weak like 90 percent of forest burns kit for example like his forward air his down air i'm not down air, i'm sorry his forward air his nair, his up air, his down tilt, his F tilt, his jabs, right? All this stuff, you just hold out on. You can always hold down away against these moves because they have no chance of killing you. Now, against moves that are like Absus Fair that do have a chance of killing you, you do not hold down away against them. You can hold in and drift out. 
which I will now cover. Don't worry, I got you. So what can the new player do? They've held out and they die at 40 and they've held in. They've been comboed to death, right? And if you're going to die at 40, you might as well just hold in and eat the combo and die, right? And that's where their problems arise is that they're just eating these combos because they don't want to hold out and die at 40, right? And that's why Rivals has a Drift DI. Drift DI is the DI that occurs after the initial DI. The initial DI is just the DI that takes place during the hit pause frames, right? These frames, once I hit the Sylvanos, we now enter a pause state. And one, two, three, we're not moving, right? Yet the frames are going. That is the hit pause. And during these frames, the Sylvanos can input his DI, right? During these frames, you're like, okay, I got hit. You understand you got hit. And now you're just picking a direction to go. After you, le you left that hit pause state, right? Now is where Drift DI comes into play. And Drift DI allows you to still DI in left or right even after your initial DI. So it allows you to escape certain combos or survive certain kill moves or kill setups. For example, again, this forward air, inputting DI in so you do not die to F's forward air, right? But now you are immediately, once you leave this, holding away from Absa because you've already secured the fact that you're not going to die. So as you can see, I can't follow up and you did not die or the Sylvanas did not die. And I'll just speed that up so it looks more um, just fluid. Look, look at that. I, there's nothing in her kit that will allow her to continue on from there, even this cloud hop. So that is the basis of how to not get combo to death in Rivals of Ether. You need to learn how to DI out for one and how to drift DI so you don't just get blown up. And yes, it's going to be hard because it's a new concept. Drifting is not in any other Smash game. It's completely new. I saw a tweet online where someone was saying, online, I saw a tweet on Twitter uh, about someone talking about like, I like Smash 4 and Ultimate more because I cut off more options and there's more like neutral to be had. Rivals has a ridiculous amount of neutral that occurs. It's not just some like, you know, go ape and like just hit your opponent like as many times as you can because it doesn't work that way because of DI like this, right? If I couldn't get away from Absa's Fair Chain as you saw just now, then yeah, it would be just fish for the hit because you know once you get the hit, you're going to kill them, right? But the problem with that is that the, this Drift DI exists to where that isn't like as effective. And because of that, it means the, that there's more neutral to be had because there's not as many combos going on, right? Now there will be times where your opponent slips up on their DI and you're able to capitalize and go in and there's certain moves in the game that uh, actually juke the, the DI your opponent picks, right? Like a raster down air, a forest burn air one, just moves that pull the opponent back in, right? Or moves that catch the opponent even on DI out, like Edelus Nair out of his dash attack. And that is where, uh, you know, more combos can happen, right? That's why Rivals isn't just some, I'll hit you two times in neutral, go back. I hit you three times in neutral, go back to neutral, right? It's not like a Smash 4 thing where you down throw up air over and over and over, right? And reset the neutral. It's not a game like that because there are still combos to be had. But again, it's not just a combo fest because players who know how to utilize the defensive tools like DI and just their movement don't make that a possibility, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, guys. It's been Rottweiler. Peace. Flame to your neck. That's the choke slam. Better call a four to assassinate your whole fam. Absolutely.